walk into the kitchen You saw the look on my face You saw the look on my heart To get out of this place I seen something I've never seen before When you put on the pineapple We couldn't be friends anymore Pineapple thousand Put on pizza It's a earth fruit and you Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been two weeks. Two weeks since I uploaded a video and I'm so sorry. I apologize firstly. I missed you guys so much but I've been traveling. I was in South Korea um, last week and so the entire week I was busy and I could not film so I apologize but I'm back today. I heard Ofra has launched on Nykaa so I thought why not I'd sit down and do a full face of Ofra Cosmetics and this is what I came up with. So in today's video I'm gonna do this makeup look and also just catch you up on what's been happening. So yeah if you want to know how I got this look and listen to my life update then please continue watching all right guys so i'm gonna jump in and use my moisturizer first so i'm gonna take the belief true cream moisturizing balm i am obsessed with this but it is like doubly hydrating you know for like extremely dry skin like me that's why i've been gravitating towards this product the most if you're wondering and i'm just gonna put that all over my face it really really is so moisturizing look at that it's like the glossy skin so what's been up you guys i missed you i was in korea as most of you know um it was such an awesome trip we went there with amor pacific so basically amor pacific has innisfree laneige etude house and many other brands underneath that um so we just went to like learn about the culture and tradition of a lot of products just basically the history of the brands you know and where Amor Pacific came from and it's just a it was just a very informative trip so we went to the tea garden and we learned about green tea and how important it is and how they use green tea in all of their products and then what else we saw camellia oil being used in most of their products and a lotus seed like a lot of these things they were actually showing us and you know we saw the factory as well and how they make the products that were shipped worldwide how they were bottling everything and the factory was so clean um just like a lot of history of how the founder of amore pacific began his career and made this into a huge corporation i'm gonna use the max stroke cream i always do this step just to hydrate the skin further so the first product i have here is the ofra primer it says no butts prime first just uh, the right amount of tackiness for foundations to stick and helps your makeup last longer so so cool this is how the product looks Actually, I'm gonna take two palms. Let's see. So it's like a clear gel product. It has no, yeah, it has no smell. I'm just gonna apply this on my problematic areas. Basically, it's not like a pore filling primer. Like I don't see this as a pore filling primer. This is more so for your foundation to stick and last a long time. This is like it has sort of a tackiness to it. Um, I don't know how to give you an update on primers, but it feels really nice and tacky. Look like it's like sticky uh okay so for foundation they sent me this shade i really don't know if the shade is right or not but we'll make it work this is the ofra absolute cover foundation um what else does it say it's a part-time to full-time status a long-lasting foundation that leaves skin flawless perfectly matte okay so it's a matte foundation then so good i took care of the skincare underneath um it's full coverage mixed with silk peptides da 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 I love the packaging of these products like I just went through all of them and they're so sleek and very chic um, so it's a glass bottle super heavy um, I'm gonna put all the prices and everything down below I'm gonna put the links and everything to this down below so you can check it out um, let's jump in I hope this shade is right I have a feeling it is going to be right this is in the shade number five like it says hashtag five Okay, so I got you in closer so you can actually see the application of the foundation and I'm using my pack sponge as I do always. Um, I hope this is not too neutral for me because let's see. It's actually not a bad shade. Like I would go slightly warmer because I prefer warmer foundations. I'm actually a neutral undertone believe you me but I prefer like slight hint of orange in my foundation but this is not bad at all wow they actually matched it pretty well <laughs> so i think if you're um sort of my skin tone if you're a mac nc 35 um you will be something like this 
this shade. Um, I can definitely work it down to my neck and when I add bronzer and stuff, it'll just come together. To be honest with you, um, I don't really have a problem with this shade. So I'm going ahead with another layer just because I can see some of my blemishes underneath. So I think this is like a buildable foundation. I usually just apply foundations with my sponge. I think it gives me the best application also your fingers. Um, I don't like using brushes typically for foundation. I'm not mad at the finish of the foundation to be honest. Uh, it's because I took care of my skincare. You can still see the glow underneath because the Belief Moisture Balm is just too good. Uh, and you can see how beautiful and healthy my skin looks. So I'm not mad at it yet. Um, I'm going to take the Sigma Kabuki brush. This is the 3D HD brush. Um, it's now available on Nykaa if you want to check it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush on this side of my face. Um, this gives me more coverage. To be honest with you, um, I think the beauty sponge side is giving me more coverage than the brush side. I anyway prefer the beauty sponge, so I don't think I'm going to spend more time with the brush because I am going to go over with the beauty sponge. So. Okay guys, so I bought you in really close so you can see the foundation on my skin. Um, I really like how it's sitting so far. So far, okay, I don't know after powder and everything how I'll feel, but it looks really nice. Um, very clean, very very smooth application basically, and mm, yeah, it's not emphasizing any pores. Uh, the finish is I think like a demi-matte finish. Um, I think if you don't apply a good amount of moisturizer underneath, it can get really matte on your skin. Um, but so far so good. It's like medium to full coverage I would say. I can still see my blemish here, so it's okay, I'm not really bothered by that. I think this has good enough coverage. I'm willing to work with it. Okay, so I do not see an Ofra concealer here. I don't know if they put it in the PR bag, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Flower Beauty concealer. This is again one of my favorite concealers. It's really nice. Can get a little bit drying, so you want to take care of your under eye and put like hydrate it first. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm going to set my um, under eye using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15. They have given me a press powder but I don't usually um, set my eyes with press powder. I set my face with the press powder. So let's use this. Okay, I'm gonna um, use this other brush. Uh, this brand, Lakara sent me like their brush set and it looks really nice and soft. This is F001 and I'm going to use their pressed powder. This is their uh, banana powder. I love that they have a mirror. Makes everything so easy, especially when you're traveling. So I'm just going to, going to dunk my brush there. It doesn't have a, I don't, oh, it does have a smell. I was thinking, what is that smell? It's so good. <coughs> okay, don't put your brush in your nose. <coughs> but it smells like bananas. Yeah, just gonna lightly set the rest of my face. It's quite a matte foundation to be honest with you. My skin is just like drinking it all up because I have really dry skin anyway. So yeah, I can tell you that this is a matte foundation. Like, you know, it does really get soaked up into the skin. We're done with the base. I'm going to move on to my brows now. I'm going to take this pencil right here. This is the Ofra Eyebrow Universal Pencil. There is no shade on this pencil, guys. I'm so sorry. I feel it is super warm. The color is very brown. I don't, I don't think it's going to match my eyebrows. But... Yeah, this is like not my shade. Okay, this is the color of the brow pencil. This is how it looks like. Um, it's extremely warm, so it's not going to go on my brows, unfortunately. So I'm going to just do my brows with my regular um, Lakme Brow Define. I'm going to be right back. I'm back, you guys. My brows are done. We're going to move on to uh, the face. And then we'll do the eyes at the end, I feel. Um, so I'm going to take this bronzer right here. This is the Ofra Blush Slash Bronzer. This is in the shade Nothing, because there's no shade on this. 
it looks very very red in the pan so i think this is more of a bronzer oh yeah that is red not the ideal bronzer this could be like your summer bronzer okay this is like extremely red on me which i figure it would be i think this will be a good bronzer for deeper skin tones not for fair or medium um i'm just going to put a little bit now that we've started let me just like go all around i'm just going to use the blush now i'm taking the ofra pressed powder this is the blush in coral crush such a pretty color it is coral but it's quite pink in the pan i'm going to take the f22 lakara brush and i'm going to dip it into this wow that is very pigmented smile and apply Okay, this is like extremely pink. It's one of those very pink Barbie doll blushes. It's highly pigmented. You want to make sure you're tapping off the excess, guys, when you're applying because uh, once you apply more, it's really difficult to get rid of the blush. I'm gonna take my stippling brush, which looks something like this. this is the Pack 306. Uh, I love this brush. It's very, very good to blend anything that you think is unblended. <laughs> Something is extremely patchy here and I don't know what that is. Um this side is looking really nice and this side there's some patchiness over here. I think the foundation I don't know what but we're going to let that slide because I really don't know what it is. It's the foundation or it's the powder sticking to the foundation. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm going to let that be. Okay, uh to contour I'm just going to cheat slightly and use the L'Oreal Paris bronzer because that was too red so i'm just going to contour my nose with a pro art pf 14 brush if you're wondering all right guys we're going to highlight my face a little later we're going to go on and play with the eyes now so i have the ofra eyeshadow palette right here this is the um signature palette exquisite eyes so i'm going to take that I think this looks really nice. Oh, that is very pigmented. I love this burnt sort of a brown. I think it looks so beautiful just alone on the eye. Oh, yes, honey. I love I love this color. So good. I'm just going to like generously apply that to the outer corner and also take it in my crease. taking this um lakara e006 brush it's again a blending brush and i'm just going to make sure that i blend the edges of the shadow okay i love this orange color but for the sake of this video i'm going to use this dark brown color and i'm taking my mac 219 brush i'm just sticking very close to my lower lash line this is more of the olive brown color it's not like your brown it's got it's like my t-shirt basically it's like my top that's the color of it like olivey brown i'm going to go back in with my lakara brush and pick up that orange shade and i'm just going to go over it to sort of blend everything together The shimmers are not exciting me to be honest with you. It's really not exciting me. I'm going to show you swatches however. These are the swatches of the shimmer shades in case you wanted to see. Should I go in with the olive one? I don't know. I'm very confused, you guys. I don't know. I got this spray from Ofra. This is the Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Refreshing Spray. Hmm. I'm going to put that on my brush a little bit and then go in with the shimmer once again so it can stand out really well Actually really like it now. <laughs> I like it. Good idea on the olive. Uh, I'm glad I went with it. It looks different. Um switching back and going into the orange sh shade. 
this one I'm gonna just intensify the outer corner now that I've added the shimmer so picking up the same brush I took earlier and I'm just gonna mesh everything it looks really pretty I like these colors actually I like these tones um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use both the matte shadows um, on my lower lash line Okay guys, so I have this um, Ofra eyeliner in brown. Um, I'm probably gonna like smoke my lower lash line and upper lash line with this. Okay, nothing's really happening. What happened to this pencil? Oh yeah, I can see no pigment. But here that it's coming out, but I don't know. Okay, it's not the most pigmented pencil. Okay, I'm gonna skip on this because I don't have time. <laughs> I'm just gonna... It's not the most pigmented one. No, nothing really happened. I'm gonna just draw a wing. I have the Smashbox eyeliner here. Alright guys, I managed a tiny wing. I'm gonna throw on some mascara now. This is the Ofra uh, mascara in black. That's all it says. Um, usually when I wear liner, my lashes are not seen, right? But this is not bad at all. It's actually very lifting, to be honest with you. It's like lifting and it separates the lashes. Um, not necessarily curls it, but... I'm not mad at it. It's like your everyday mascara. So this is something you can just throw on and be done with. I'm going to throw on some falsies really quickly. These are the... Um, Synthetic Mink Lashes, Henna Henna. I think that's what it's called in the style Hamida. Right, you guys, so I actually really like this mascara, especially for lower lash line. It actually lifts the lashes and keeps it there, which is awesome. I'm just going to like, blend everything together now that my lashes are on. I'm just going to buff and blend. For lipsticks, they sent me three um, shades. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick. It's the long-lasting liquid lipstick we got Miami Fever, which I've heard Kathleen Lights talk about for forever when I was like younger. <laughs> and then we have Manila in the center, which is the nude color. And then we've got Santa Ana, which is the strawberry shade color. So I'm going to do swatches really quickly. Okay, I'm going to line my lips using the MAC lip pencil. This is in Strip Down. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Miami Fever first. I'm actually really obsessed. Oh my god. I know most of you might be like, that is too orange, Miles. This is my lip color, dude. I'm obsessed with coral colors. What are you... Dude, this is my new lip color. What? It's like the sister of driver's seat. No kidding. This has more orangey tones in it. But this is like your sister driver's seat. Driver's seat had a baby with someone. And Miami Fever was born. Like, but a lighter version. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and use Manila. I can't stop staring at it. I love it. Dude, this formula is so good. Comfortable, not sticky at all, absolutely matte. Alright, I'm going ahead and using Manila now. Yes! Now, for the highlighter, guys. I have been dying to try this highlighter. I've heard of this from a lot of bloggers especially Nikki Tutorials. This is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Are we ready to glow or are we ready to glow, baby? Okay, I suddenly get all like hyper. Okay, this is Rodeo Drive and we're gonna put this on our face because, honey, this is so, so soft and so stunning. I think it's gonna be one of those really, really blinding ones. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so ready.
you know what I'm saying. You just, you just know what I'm gonna say. I don't even need to. I don't even. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so good. I feel so good. It's along the same lines of Pack VK12, a little. Oh my god. Baby girl. Are we living or are we living? Okay, I'm gonna put this like literally all over. We need some boob glow up in here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take this makeup fixer and spritz it all over. Okay, you guys, so this is the highlighted portion. Now, it really looks nice and sync. You always want to highlight 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 the parts where it's exposed okay you guys so that's all i have for you this is the final result i love how this look turned out i'm feeling like really like sassy after so long because i wore a full face of makeup lashes and everything this lip is giving me life now let me take you um through all the products and tell you what i really liked and didn't um the foundation i'm not crazy about simply because it is a matte formula and i'm a very dry skin so i prefer if it was a little bit glowy but it is not too drying like i don't feel like i want to take this off right now so if you are an oily skin type i think this foundation is good it matches my uh, neck really well it did not oxidize as bad like it's not that bad um however what else what else the banana powder the banana powder was good i don't think it's an absolute necessity um the blush liked it highlighter in love with it like you saw i this is highlight i'm gonna use like constantly um eyeshadow palette not like a diehard fan but it's not bad at all it applied so well um i love how the eyeshadows blended so like that the eyebrow pencil was not my shade so i can't really judge that the kajal did not work for me because it did not even apply so the pigmentation was not really there um the bronzer was too red for me if there are other um shades like a more neutral one i think it would be a great bronzer or a contour shade um the lipstick was the hero of this video okay it's getting really gloomy now so i'm gonna head out thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave we're we are really close to 400,000, and i'm flipping out you guys let's do this let's create a huge family thank you so much i love you from the bottom of my heart and i will be back with more clothing hauls and gym wear and everything so stay tuned i love you and i'll see you in my next one Mwah.